Look at the foot here. What is happening? Is he going into the ground? Probably like a month ago, I have watched a video about Terraceful Glades that it turned out to be AI generated. And I really enjoyed that video from your boy Tyler. He released a day ago a video about Hellfar Peninsula that I assume that it's again AI generated, but I like Hellfar Peninsula as well. Let's get at it, you know? Hellfire Peninsula is one of the few surviving regions of Draenor. It is a pivotal surviving. staging point of Outland. It is here where the Dark Portal leads. As its name implies, Hellfire Peninsula is a grim place. The landscape is a twisted mess of battle scars. Dude, it does not look like that. Of old wars. But imagine if it was looking like that. The atmosphere is thin, and the twisting nether's twilight is visible alongside not so distant worlds. It is though the I sky think. itself has been shattered. Those who travel by foot through Hellfire Peninsula note bones cracking beneath their boots. Oh. These would belong to the countless Draenei. Slaughtered in ages past by the blood crazed orcs. Even to this day, the remains of the orcs' victims litter the blood red soil. Years after the orcs' failed invasion, the Alliance attempted to bring war to this land. The orcish warlock, Nerzul, willingly tore the planet asunder with fell energy rather <laughs> than see his world fall into enemy hands. And they, I was struggling a little bit here, but it was it it made like a cool effect. Twisting Nether is where Outland Owls are okay. Ah, this was Drainer's apocalypse. What remained of the world was left to float through the void, known forevermore as Outland. For decades, it was thought that the Alliance forces of Hellfire Peninsula were lost when the world fell. However, their principal base of operations, on a hold. <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna return it back a little bit. Look at the foot here. Principal base of operations. What is happening? On is he hold, going into the ground? Standing, its residents taking on refugees from the doomed expedition. When the portal reopened, Stronghold Commander Danith Trollbane welcomed a newly arrived Alliance army into his beleaguered keep. With the aid of Stormwind, Ironforge, and Nethergord, Honorhold went back. See? See? Did you see that? Again, the foot. Honorhold went back on the offensive against Hellfire. But it's pretty orcs good so the far. First time in 26 long years. Their primary contention is the fell. I don't know why I'm nitpicking that much uh, when I know that at the end of the day, AI made it, it's gonna be imperfect, you know? But, you know, I, I quite enjoy it. I enjoy Tears Fall Glades, I enjoy Hellfire Peninsula Zones. I feel like me and your boy Tyler are kind of the same guy, you know? A horde who hold an overwhelming portion of Hellfire Peninsula's expansive territory. In the center of the region stands the orc's impenetrable fortress, Hellfire Citadel. Under direction of their war chief, Kargath Bladefist, the Citadel was long believed to be a staging ground for military operations. Dude, imagine. I love Hellfire Peninsula, but imagine if it looked, if it actually looked like that. I would have loved it, you know? Operations. While this is accurate for the Hellfire Ramparts, Halls, and Blood Furnace, a darker truth lurks deeper underground. Locked away deep in the belly of Hellfire, the greater demon Magtheridon is kept shackled in agony, perpetually on the brink of death, as his corrupted blood is drained away to empower the orcish armies, led by Outland's new master, Illidan Stormrage. <laughs> what the fuck is this Illidan? You're a really a ghost of a past age. The future, the future is mine. The Mismore Dawn. Outland and all of its denizens will bow. Okay, I agree with everything in this video, but Illidan is not that ugly, friend. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. To me.
Illidan's orcish forces are consumed with a literal bloodlust, their hulking bodies twisted with sprouting horns and burning eyes. Outside the citadel, these orcs occupy the ruins of their old territories, which presumably fell into disuse for a time, following the world shattering. Those unfamiliar to the politics of Outland may be surprised to learn that the fell orcs wage war not only against Azeroth's armies, but also the Burning Legion. The fell orcs serve no master but Illidan. In service to him, the last of the old... So the fell orcs are actually serving Illidan. I, I didn't know that, honestly. I, for me, that's a completely new information. But I, I just want to say I was never into lore. So this is the whole thing is kind of new for me, you know? Old Horde has finally turned its back on the Dark Masters who led their bloodline to this ruin. But not all orcs in the peninsula are cursed with demon blood. The town of Thralmar was recently founded by Thrall's new Horde and led by the chief of security, Nazgrel. Along with the Blood Elf settlement of Falcon Watch, Thralmar serves as an integral part of the Horde operations within all of Outland. Furthermore, the Magar, orcs who have always shied away Magar from demon orcs. worship, still hold out in one simple village on the very crest of Hellfire Peninsula, hinting that more of their kind still survive deeper within Outland. The Horde, the Alliance, Illidan, and the Burning Legion all wage war over the What is happening with his lips here? The degrading ruins of this fractured world. Hellfire Peninsula is the staging ground for this conflict. Who is this guy as well? Conflict. Lines are drawn in blood as each faction consolidates its power, ready to take or to break the crown of Outland. So yeah, what do you guys think about this video? I think it was pretty nice, pretty good. Leave that guy a like and uh, I don't know. It was pretty good, even though if... I'm not sure if it's AI generated. Can we see? Love you, dad. This guy loves his dad. Yo, this looks amazing. Very nice. Make WoW great again. Your file looks like Doom levels from... Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Now back to WoW.